That is a great question because hourly fees vary by municipality, by region, it all depends. Locality is a big factor. Second would be the experience of the attorney. Um, and then third is the complexity of the case. Uh, somebody who is handling jaywalking tickets is probably justifies a lower hourly rate than something that where they regularly represent manslaughter or murder charges and so forth. So I've represented the gamut on seriousness, um, but I also have 28 years since I began doing criminal work. First started as a prosecutor and I've had uh, over 24 criminal trials. And so does the attorney, they always say they're in court all the time, but are they in court just to make appearances and plead their clients guilty or have they had jury trial experience? So I think experience um, is one thing you're paying for. There is a false notion though, just because the hourly rate is higher must mean the attorney is better. Not always the case. Again, somebody that's in downtown Minneapolis may be charging 475 an hour and someone in a rural county is charging two and a quarter. Um, depending on where the case, again, is venued, um, one may be a better value than the other. And so I think a reasonable hourly fee also matches up with the client's expectation. Um, they may be somebody who makes $15 an hour and now they're being asked to pay somebody 250 an hour. How is that a fee? I think in order to determine whether it's reasonable, you gotta ask about their experience and also what they expect to um, accomplish in the case. Is the person somebody who you can trust their advice and then um, you, know, you have confidence in their ability to, to represent you? Mm -hmm.